years ago when Phoenix was part of our show, you know, Phoenix is very uh, in, into technology, software. You know, I remember when Instagram first came out and people were just jumping the <laughs> Twitter bandwagon. He was like thumbing his nose like, oh, Twitter, Instagram's where it's at. Yep. Now I'm sure he's on like the third step ahead of he us. He was on Bitcoin back when it started. He was mm -hmm. yeah, mining Bitcoin or something. I don't know what he was doing with the computers. He was working Had somehow. Super Mario Brothers somehow came into play. We weren't sure. probably got a buttload of money right now. <laughs> hidden somewhere. Okay, so I bring it up because I remember when Phoenix would open our load. eyes to things and he was saying how uh, boatload? <laughs> boatload. Um, boatload. Yeah. I don't want a buttload. Yeah. 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 It's not buttload. You can even get a nickel in there. I thought he it was, was buttload. No, it's People do say buttload. Well, yeah, You're I've heard right. Both. There's always a buttload of money. I'd rather have a boatload full of money than a butt. The yeah. butt's not going to hold that much. Um, depends on the size of the bottom. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I do remember Phoenix telling us about private mode on a phone or a computer where if you hit that, then it doesn't show the search history stuff. Google has the same thing. They call it incognito mode. And back in 2020, they were sued because they had been collecting your searches from your incognito mode. Uh -huh. Now, aren't we just supposed to assume that whatever the, the provider is you're using, they're going to use it? We just don't think about it. Even if it's private or incognito. Well, a lawsuit filed in 2020 accused Google of misrepresenting the type of data it collects from those searches. And the lawsuit was settled late last year, but the details just came out of the court filing. They agreed to delete, quote, billions of data records billions. from people's private browsing sessions and the plaintiff's special K wanted five billion dollars in damages because well, they so they called it private mode but it really wasn't but they were mode. tracking you still and uh, it was just wow. not getting saved to your browser but they had saved what you were mm. looking at I'm sure to find out later if you were the Unabomber that this is what he was looking for in his private in browsing the, mold the right data exactly. breach of uh, remember those was it those guys in that cheating website? If you're um, married, have oh a Ashley, Ashley Madison. Madison, didn't they have something? Remember years ago? Like, they did have yeah. a data breach. Yeah, did those guys sued? Or they like? I don't like know. Everybody playing? that was on there, they they were exposed. Oh, there was right. a they documentary were... about it. I think it's on Netflix. Let me Maybe see. that's what. I, that's. Uh, well, then, now anyhow. instead of giving you money, Kevin, for your class action, like fill yeah. this out if yeah. you ever used incognito mode, yeah. they're just updating their disclosure forms and they're allowing you to block third party cookies in incognito mode for the next five years. There is this does not sound like a win. Five years, that's it? That's it. There's a search engine I use that because I did a lot of research on this. I didn't I didn't want to be tracked or followed either. And it's called Quant, Q-U-A-N-T. And I start using that rather than using Google. I got news for you. You're being tracked and followed no matter what because you Quant Quant wants to know how many interactions they're having, and what, they want to know what are you looking at and where can they doing, sell you. Kevin, that makes you want to... Yeah, Kevin, what's so private in your life that you don't want <laughs> them to know like about? I'm like an open book. I'm like, I don't care. Alien research. You'd be pretty bored sure. if you looked at my Doomsday history. Doomsday preppers for the eclipse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Once they find out that I know what's up with the moon... And the portal. Kevin and I were talking about this during yeah, the commercial the break. God, not, There's all oh. these videos out now no, that the moon I, is not really the moon. on air, off air. No, Just because you don't like it. But it, all, all the information Mom, states... Turn their mics off like yeah, they're mine. Hear, yeah, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it just basically states that it is impossible. It does not rotate. So we only ever see in, one side. We know we have NASA right in the backyard right here. That's yeah. just insult. Oh, Everybody I know it insults, but I'm just saying there are all these videos out there that the moon is not really a moon. Aliens mm -hmm. put it there. I would and like for I don't the think people that, that are putting NASA. the videos out there to go to NASA's campus and knock on the door and be like, hey, I want you to tell me what this video because you guys, means. Because they're so bold. Because to make it go viral. I don't think claim to know anything about that. I'm just These saying. People are doing it every day. Like our, mm -hmm. our, saying, our, Eric, our is, listener that I met adrift. I just forgot his name. But yeah. he went to Purdue University. Uh -huh. And they got an internship there. He's been working there since 2003. Nice. He builds like the, the suits. Oh, and really? Astronauts and stuff. He does all these oh, cool wow. things. Yeah. The brilliance among us right in this listening area at NASA, because we all got invited there to do a tour and meet some employees of NASA. And the things that they were showing us they've been working on for the last five years mm -hmm. are things that can just uh, disintegrate in 20, 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. And you've lost five years of work because the theories that you're putting together, you know, you're hoping all, if all goes to, to the chart and the plan, it mm -hmm. should work. And then it just goes up and goes... <laughs> Like, okay, well, I'll start again. And I'm thinking, oh, my God, you guys are so brilliant. And that's why I, I think maybe that's one of the first times I called myself a clown in a box. I said, we're just clowns in the box. Like, you know, because usually people are listening to us <laughs> on a device. 
And we're just being the funny. Look at it. Funny way to think of like it. We're I, I look the at box it. And he said to me, he goes, "But you guys, we can't do what you do." He goes, "You guys, you know, give me a laugh on the way to work." Yes, right. I've got all these formulas in my head, but I mean, I I'm learned like, well, funny things from to, you guys. You could learn to do what we you could learn. Yeah. We can't learn. We can't to learn what you're doing. No, I always look at it like this: like if the world were to collapse, like in Walking Dead or what's the one on HBO? Last of Us. The Last of Us. You know, it's like how are we going to rebuild civilization? Not with people like with me. With laughter. No, Legos. Legos. Not with laughter people like me. Laughter makes the world go round. It's like we need the NASA type people. Yeah, but we we need... also need ditch diggers and stuff, so you'd be fine. So I'd be slave yeah. labor. So, yeah. Somebody's got to. We'd all be the bees. We all okay. have to put the Like the guys that built the pyramids, you know, I'll be yeah, the one carrying the, the rocks. The mountain. Yeah, that's what we'd do. Yes, if you could go back in time to <laughs> a part of history. we have do it. <laughs> I know, we would, you have to have like positive <laughs> mental um, the camaraderie. Time. But think about this. Of all the places we have visited, or you may have a bucket list of travels and things you want to see or things you're fascinated by, if you could go back to the time when it was made, would you want to? Like, y'all. I don't want to go back to the time when the Parthenon was getting built. I don't know what job they would have given me or where you're going to poop. I want to do it like that ride. No What's that ride we were on? Adventure <laughs> or something one? in Epcot where you fly where the guy's foot was above me? Oh, oh, um, Soren. It's Soren, called yeah. Soren. I'd mm-hmm. want to do that in time and just soar and look and then leave. Yeah, yeah. actually, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to smell You'll be living in it. I want to watch how they're building it and get yes. the hell out of there. I don't want to smell like it. Like when they had like the trash just gets thrown in the street Ugh. and those people are dying of all those diseases because the garbage and the feces the, were the everywhere. Black plague and all that. Yeah, we don't want that, but they had to go so they had to happen somewhere like we to get to where we are right now. Think of all the people before it's like, "Oh yeah, we lived in <laughs> My sludge. grandpa they had outhouses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Born. Yeah. 20th century. I guess he was doing that in 1925. Yes, and my dad's my my uh-huh. dad Eric when I went back to um his house cuz his home house he was born in we still have it in the family but with nobody lives there. The bathroom was across the street. See? What? They, they did not have it in the stone house. Amon, it was a 600 square foot. It brought me to tears. It was a 600 square foot structure, uh-huh. but the top structure was the only livable structure because on the bottom was where the donkey was that helps you in the farm and the chickens where you get the eggs. Oh. So above, my dad slept next to the range on a um, mattress of like leaves uh-huh. and the pillowcase was a like a cor- like a burlap bag with corn husks in it. Wow. And their bathroom was across the street. No wonder he felt like a... A, a king when he came to America. A yeah. king. My dad. I would tell my mom. I have a bathroom I, I inside. Tell, yes, I would also tell my dad. Like, dad, don't you want to go to one of these places? He loved the Travel Channel. Don't you want to go? We can go. I mean, Kathy's a flight attendant. You can fly for free wherever you want. And right. he would always say, "Why I go on the airplane? And have the Travel Channel." Like he just <laughs> was so happy channel. to just sit in his restaurant <laughs> and look at that TV. But when, I, I, when I would go up to New Hampshire to this lake in the middle of nowhere, they had an outhouse. You also had to pump the water into the house. Uh-huh. But the outhouse was up the hill in the woods. And every season, you had to dig a new hole and move the house. But in the middle of the night, if you, if you had to potty, you had to bring a gun because oh there were critters. Yeah, there are mountain lions oh and my bears. Gosh. Yeah. And one night, I oh heard something God. growl while I was sitting Stop. down having a growl. <laughs> and it wasn't me, it was something outside. And How far are we talking? You had to walk from the house to feet? this outhouse. It was, it was pr- like from oh here God, to where um, our boss's office is. So, what's that? About 200 uh, feet? It's still yeah. far enough for me to pee uh. my pants. If I woke up to pee and I'm like, I can't make it that far. Guess what? It still happens. It still happens in America now. I watched this 90 Day Fiance, and there's a guy who's dating this uh, influencer chick. She came from England, and when she gets there, and she's really pretty, and he's a good looking guy, but he's so poor, he lives in a place that doesn't have a bathroom. He has to go outside the apartment, down the hall. In New York, they had a lot. They showed the those awful apartments, like one bedroom, yeah, Not no one toilet room. Okay. The toilet and the bathroom, everything's down the hall, oh. the shower. Wait, Kevin, when you heard the growl, did you have the gun with you? I did. I did. And? But I, and, uh, I mean, I sat in there for a while, like, I don't want to come out. I don't want to have to kill an animal. Or have it kill you. Right. It's dark. So I just ran. I just ran. I, I pulled my pants <laughs> up. Does running actually <laughs> instigate the chase, though? I guess yeah. so. Running well, would instigate the chase of the bobcat. Okay. I, I've never been so scared oh in my, my gosh, life. Oh, Kev. Did you poop again? There's more. There's more. Ew. Actually, <laughs> you know what? You just mentioned we were talking about, like, how we make them laugh and how we can impact like somebody's life. Like people around you and how we can't do the brilliant job. I want you guys scientists. to hear this call because it starts off a little sad, but then it gives you an idea of what we actually do. Hello, it's Trevor. Normally, I call you guys really upbeat and happy talking about how Eric won the Rapfire Quiz, but this time I That's thought nice. I would tell you how I found out my ex fiance was cheating on me. She flat out told me. We were high school sweethearts, and sure enough, we graduated. I proposed. She said yes. And then about 
three months later, she let me know that he was cheating on me pretty much the entire time we were together. Oh, we had about a three-year relationship, and she just texted me. She never really uh, loved me, and uh, mm -hmm. he kind of just only saw me as a really good friend. And it was really tough for me. I did try to end my own life, but that's kind of whenever I started listening to you guys again, and it really, really helped me. I, I truly do believe that you guys are one of the reasons why I am still alive today. Oh. I absolutely love you guys. You guys are amazing. I guess I will see you guys on Wednesday with the Rapid Fire Quiz. Aww. And you made him sad that you didn't play my song wow. when I won, so you guys should really feel bad. Yeah, no, that makes you feel good that you, like you said, we just have calls because he calls, he's only calls in all the time. Other. Yeah, he calls it. He has like music and stuff. And he's trying to oh, play, he like he'll play yeah. like the Bulls theme type something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eric! Yeah. So it's weird to hear him oh, down. Because we were doing that topic. And the shame last on week. her. I feel like we're really good friends. Yeah, no, I only ever viewed you as a friend. I never, Ugh. but he viewed her as his wife, his wife, his wife, his mate, lover, future, forever. Yeah. Oh, Trevor, we're so sorry. Big rule in Rancho Hug. Thanks for sharing that. And, and we're I'm so glad, glad you are with us today. Yes, screw her. Find somebody else. <laughs> yeah. Find somebody else. It's easier Aww. said than done, you know. Like Aww. when your heart is broken and you're in it, life did not turn out the way you. thought thought it would. And then you can't trust anybody because you thought I had this whole life with this person that was lying to me every yeah. day. How would you ever trust somebody else? But people do find trust in somebody it else. It pulls you apart and it's like telling a depressed person, oh, cheer up. Well, if he wants it's to not cheer that up, easy. Go to Special K, Radio Special K's Instagram yes, stories. Oh, no! Lord. And you can oh, cheer Lord. up right you <laughs> So, in I, won't, I won't give it away, but I, I went to use the restroom and when I came back, someone had taken my phone and taken <laughs> pictures of on my phone of themselves. So they little did they but think that I would. I, it backfired. Literally, back butt fired. <laughs> oh, butt butt fired. <laughs> and you can what see the results of that. Thing. And as, if you go to at Radio Special K on Instagram, you will oh see God, the close up of this picture. And Special K's headphones, as we wear headphones in here, they're striped. They're white with black stripes. When I first saw this picture from a distance, it looked like Wolverine blades. Yeah. And I go, like, what is happening crush. with the Wolverine <laughs> blades? But upon seeing the picture, like right here on my computer, I can tell they're headphones. But I kept saying, what's oh with the Wolverine God. blades coming out of somebody's hoo-ha? Somebody needs to go to that Timu place and buy some new uh, athletic I haven't gear. bought their pants yet, but new clearly I, yesterday I had a hole in my crotch for my pants, and now today it's my butt. Girl, you guys I think I need to upgrade. I need to get new pants. Did you guys yeah. they're not the show you were spring cleaning. They're not squat proof. Yeah, you were talking oh. about getting rid of the clothes you can't wear now that oh. you're a mom. Well, I didn't know that there much. was holes in certain she got places. Uh -huh. She's going to have to get moth balls. Yeah, <laughs> Smell like moth balls <laughs> yes. next week. <laughs> I'm going to say it's lifting games, <laughs> Kevin, we'll okay? This. Where did they go, Kevin? <laughs> no! It's Radio at Special Radio K. Special K. Oh, my he goodness. You are such a rat. Take it down! His, okay. Click his stories. Stay Stay just stand until noon if you would like to call in and troll her pants. about that picture. Yeah, you got some pants. And maybe it might get you an endorsement for some athleisure wear. Oh, yeah. I might want to do a commercial with you for It's like somebody needs to go to Timu. Like I know. If there was a Lululemon um, endorsement, uh, my child would fight you for it, Sam. I'm sure. And because, she, because that is the one thing she will save all of her birthday and Christmas money for. I and I'm like, start doing that too. you do know you so can you get can like buy four one sports item. bras yes, at Target right. for this. Yeah. Right? I just yes. saved $500. I got a sock. You want, yeah, that, yeah. you want that emblem on the on the back of your butt? Well, it's just, well, it, is, it is a smooth fabric, I have to say. Maybe they wouldn't uh, rip so it's quickly when that you much. squat. Well, y'all yeah, come on hang out with Sam. She's on till noon. Uh, Sam's spotlight might be about new That's her clothes. Sunday clothes. Uh -huh. her holy, <laughs> her holy. What clothes I should and should not tights. wear? <laughs> holy tights. Uh, if there's anything you missed on the show today, please go to the K uh, KRBE's uh, app or download the app or anywhere you hear your podcast. It will live there forever. And we'll be back 6 o'clock on Thursday morning Woo! on the Ruin Ryan Show. <gasps> Bye! Bye.